Areas of thunderstorms to our west and to our north along the higher terrain, but no one locally received any rain from those showers and storms. Instead, most of us were dealing with this highs today near 92 lows around 70. A very warm day overall and temperatures still not budging very much. We're still in the upper 70s here at this midnight hour, moving into early Tuesday morning. Chambersburg at 78 as cool as 71 degrees in Tower City. But I mentioned this a few moments ago that it's very hard to cool off at night when we have numbers like this. And the reason why we are starting to see these Nighttime lows be more elevated. There's more humidity in the air. Uh, Valerie mentioned this at the very beginning of the show, but the humidity is here to stay. And so when we look ahead, will we see any breaks coming up? It might be a break in the humidity, but that actually leads to more hot and dry air by the end of the week. Here's a view of Hummelstown right now. Things are quiet and dry, as I mentioned. Gettysburg 2, all quiet, not much of a breeze currently, but if you were out, say about 9 to about 1030, there was actually a decent breeze coming through. And even earlier than that this evening, as we start to see somewhat cooling conditions, a nice breeze did develop. But here tonight, temperatures hugging near 70 degrees through tomorrow, right back to the mid 80s by lunchtime, likely hitting the low to mid 90s once again. So you've seen this map price several times at this point, but main point is big area of high pressure parked to our Northeast and so what it's really doing is just pulling in all this warm humid air from the south and it's not just us. It's the entire East Coast. It's New England. It's parts of southern Canada. Very hot, humid weather pattern and heavy rain going up the Mississippi River Valley, but we don't tap into that here locally in the forecast. So here's precision cast tonight. Very few clouds passing by through tomorrow. That leads to more sunshine to begin the day and then throughout the day a ton of sunshine, a ton more heat. Now let's fast forward this through Wednesday. Really not much of any change. There are no fronts coming our way this week until maybe Sunday in the forecast. So as we watch the extended forecast, this is what we're tracking. This huge heat dome, as some like to call it. It's really just a big ridge of high pressure extending from Florida the whole way into eastern Canada. And if we play this out through the weekend, early next week, the only difference is there's a slight cool shot heading in after Sunday. So there's the potential that maybe we don't hit 90 exactly by next Monday and Tuesday. Again, there's potential. I would not bank on at this point. I do think 90s are going to be tough to break here in the extended forecast. The hottest day of this heat wave, likely Friday, 98 degrees, which could challenge the record for that day. Same too for Saturday. That could also be a very hot day ahead of the front Sunday. Gotcha. See you back soon. Thank you. Absolutely. Dan. The U.S. Surgeon General.